Kelly here at Fan TV, 2-1 win. Uh, it's a party, obviously, in the Gulch yeah. right now. Yeah. But uh, ultimately, for you, was this a performance that you wanted, or uh, were you were you happy? Were you um, I mean, like, look, I definitely came into this particular game with lowered expectations. You know it's going to be a struggle at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, the first game without Joseph. You know, they got to figure out how they want to play, the, how the players who are left, how they, you know, the chemistry has got to be figured out. The formation for all that has got to be figured out. Um, it doesn't help when we lose yet another defender. But at the end of the day, like, all, all of those factors considered, I actually, uh, I actually appreciate it. Yeah, I, I liked what I saw. You know, I think I think there's certainly potential uh, to get better. I think, um, like, okay, like, PD, you know, creating that first goal, taking his man on, you know, and Barco making that near post run. You know, that's important, too. He was there to finish the chance. Uh, and we need, you know, as we talked about, we need those runners from midfield. So that was good to see. Uh, <laughs> Hyman surprised the hell out of me. I, so from my vantage point, I saw the zero on the back. I was like, oh, that's PT again. And see Hyman do that, like the bits and the... We've been needing goals from midfield for a while now, even before Joseph got hurt. So, and it's, But now more than ever. And so, yeah, that's very encouraging as well. Um, yeah, two matches in a row. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely maybe at least supplanting some of that production. You know? Yeah, exactly. Now it seems like double-digit goals might be a possibility for him, you know, which would be wonderful you know um and yeah it would yeah that would go a long way in terms of the team doing well um the defense was a bit shaky and it, like i mentioned before we lost another player campbell's got to come in um but especially after we went up 2-0 yeah they definitely had more chances you would like they had a lot more shots overall and so uh, even though we had more of the ball we had to do a lot of defending um on their goal did we close down quick enough was it uh, something that reminded you of Toronto, like it's just uh, maybe we see this kind of often, yeah? Yeah, you know, it's like you can say, you can call it a lucky shot, you can say the angle was tough or whatever, but you really like, that. that is a danger area. Yeah, I think we got to close down a little bit quicker. And that was, I didn't exactly see who was in position and what, but I know that was Campbell's side, so I don't know if that had something to do with it as well. Um, but then, yeah, that's another, like, chemistry's got to be built up on the defensive line as well. It's, I mean, it's difficult when, again, we keep losing players, but, we're, you know, I think, I think if the defense gets healthy in terms of mainly Miles and Escobar coming back, I'm not too worried about it, but uh, it is, the defensive performance is something I'd like to see improve overall. And honestly, like, our chemistry in the attack, it could be better, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, we don't want every game to play out like how today played out, and to be honest, a team with better quality than Cincinnati maybe scores more. You know, that's always the danger as well. Uh, so, yeah, with that said, are you confident going into Tuesday about, yeah, you know, how Tuesday we played? Wednesday. Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, look, Club America have had their own struggles. You know, their attack was struggling. And then the last couple of weeks, um, as in last night and last Saturday, they allowed three goals each. I think... Um, even before Joseph, the game plan would have been to frustrate them, get a result in Mexico, and then bring it back home. I don't think that changes too much other than who exactly plays. Uh, I think we can do it, though. Oh, I want to make a shout-out to Jose Tu, too. Well, cause to me, when he came in, like he was he was controlling things. He was running the game. And I'd like to see him and PD and Barco on the field at the same time. I think that would have a lot of potential. Um, yeah, I think that performance, what we saw today, is built upon what we saw from him in preseason. It's unfortunate that he hasn't been able to join, to play with the team in that time frame. But yeah, if he continues to get playing time, I think uh, that would go a long way for us as well. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we have to talk about Barco's celebration for Joseph. I mean, and also the fans, classy seventh minute, oh, Joseph Martinez. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice, uh, I feel like this whole week has kind of been building up in terms of like, and nostalgia. You know, maybe the shrine was a bit much, but <laughs> you know, uh, the intention was there. You know, we that's it's sweet. Hey, yeah. Um, no, I think it's been building um, in terms of like the nostalgia. Obviously, you know, when the news came out at first, we were upset. We were literally next to each other, and you know, I remember the mood in the car. It was not fun. But I think, to be honest, I think the reaction for the whole week has been optimistic. I think most of the fans are still bought in into what we can do this year. And in terms of Joseph, I mean, like, it's 2020 for Joseph, you know? 
I think, yeah. So I think like today, what, you know, the tribute, yeah, the tribute from Barco, uh, the, the seventh minute chant, I think that was all appropriate. I think that's a good point to be like, all right, you know, we, this is where we're moving forward now, you know, like, we still have a good team here. We can still do big things. Maybe not CCL type things, but uh, in terms of making the playoffs and maybe making a run, we'll see. Like, there's quality here. We saw potential today. It can get better. We just need the full squad, you know, back in the fold, and I'm confident, yeah.